slight ride, slight ride. Afternoon, well you join us out on a uh, rather wet field. I'm here with Fernando Alonso, at least I assume his surname's Alonso because we got here very quickly across country, but I'll let him introduce himself and explain why we're here. Well, uh, thank you very much, Rob. My surname is not Alonso. <laughs> uh, my name is Fernando Parque. I'm a field scientist for Curtiva AgriScience based in, in Warwickshire. Uh, we have our research uh, field station here. And as Robert mentioned, uh, we had a pretty uh, urgent job to do, which is we wanted to inoculate with different pathogens some of our uh, seed applied technology trials. And as you can see, the situation is very, very wet, and we couldn't get to either walk and do inoculations by hand or either get a tractor with a mounted sprayer to, to do the job for us. So it was kind of a critical situation because uh, either we do it now, where as the crop cycle requested it, or we kind of lose the studies and experiments. So would that mean losing a full year? It would probably, for these kind of trials, it would probably mean losing the, the, the whole year. You can see that there are actually some footprints in the field, but that's about that's about the worst of the damage. Uh, if you'd taken a tractor on here, what would have happened? Well, you couldn't, <laughs> you'll be a stack as soon as you get the four wheels on the ground. Lovely. Cheers for having Thank you very much. Thank you. While Scott and Fernando mapped out the plots to be sprayed, I called the air traffic control tower to get permission for the flight. As soon as they hear that we're flying at three meters high, they gave us permission to proceed. When you're operating drones that can weigh over 100 kilos, safety is the number one consideration. So a full set of pre-flight checks are carried out before the start of each operation. After double checking all the treatment rates, Fernando mixes up the first batch of his secret pathogen cocktail and fills the drone with 40 litres of the mixture. Before taking off, Scott, the pilot in charge of this operation, does his final safety Take checks. It off. Then it's time to send the big XAG P100 to work. With the press of a button, the drone takes off and automatically goes to work. Although Scott keeps the drone under constant observation, it flies fully autonomously, working to a set of predefined parameters. Scott is there, ready to take control in the event of any unforeseen issues. The pathogen treatment is pumped through a pair of peristaltic pumps at the rate of 600 litres per hectare. Once the first treatment is complete, the drone automatically returns to its home point and lands with its signature smooth reverse parking manoeuvre. Then Fernando whisks up a batch of his next mystery pathogen and fills the drone. I swap out the big lithium batteries and we're ready to go on the next treatment. Then it's back to work for the P100. Scott commented that it was strange to see the drone flying so slowly. This is a result of the particularly high application rate used of 600 litres per hectare that this particular treatment required. By contrast, throughout the summer, we've been watching it fly at between 30 and 50 kilometres an hour while it sows seeds into fields of standing wheat and barley. The XAG P100 and its bigger brother, the P100 Pro, are incredibly versatile machines and can be converted from sprayers to spreaders in under 60 seconds. However, the treatment today required a high application volume with minimal drift, so we dialed in an extra coarse droplet size from the spinning CDA spray applicators and kept the flight height to an optimal 3 meters high. And with the job complete, the drone heads back to its home point ready for rinsing and cleaning. The only way you'd know we'd even been there were a few muddy footprints, but the drone hadn't left a single mark. 